A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver. The Lone Ranger. Before this exciting adventure, a word from our sponsor. General Mills, makers of Cheerios, the ready-to-eat oat cereal that gives you go power, and Wheaties, the breakfast of champions, present by special recording, The Lone Ranger. Now you can ride, ride, ride with The Lone Ranger. Yes, you can act like the Lone Ranger, think like the Lone Ranger in genuine Western adventures. Exciting Lone Ranger mysteries. Now on the backs of these popular General Mills cereals. Cheerios, Wheaties, Kicks, Sugar Jets, and Tricks. There are 11 of these thrilling mysteries. One to a package, and you'll want to solve them all. Here's a sample. One mystery is called The Guilty Stranger. A stagecoach is robbed, and there are two suspects. Which one is guilty? The Lone Ranger finds out. Can you... To help you, there's an invisible writing clue inside the package. Dip this amazing clue in water, and writing appears like magic. What's more, the back of the clue tells you how you can become an official Lone Ranger deputy with mask, badge, identification card, and hollow silver-colored bullet. Look for the Lone Ranger Mystery Adventures now on specially marked packages of Cheerios, Wheaties, Kicks, Sugar Jets, and Tricks. Get them all and ride with the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Toto, the daring and resourceful mask rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. Are you Silver? Away! The Lone Ranger and Toto rode the trail toward Newton in southwest Texas. The trail ran along a ridge overlooking a valley. They noticed a stagecoach following another trail below them. They pulled rain a moment. Oh, 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 oh. The stage seems to be going unusually fast, Toto. Ah, trail through valley, plenty rough. Look, he must have outlaws on a stage. Let's go down there and hurry. Come on, Toto. Come on, Toto. The Lone Ranger and Toto reached the valley and headed toward the stage. The three outlaws who had been chasing it swung off to the side and headed up the opposite slope. Bypassing the stage, the masked man and the Indian followed the fleeing horsemen up the slope. Two of the outlaws lagged behind. The third had gone over the ridge and hurriedly galloped away. Use your guns, Toto. One get hit, all off horse. Stop and cover him. I'll keep going. Tahoe dropped behind to capture the man who had been wounded. The Lone Ranger closed up behind the second one. He saw the outlaw turn and pull the trigger on an empty gun. His gun's empty, I'll rope him. For a moment, the masked man whirled his lariat, then sent it snaking forward. The rope settled over the shoulders of the outlaw as the great horse Silver instinctively reared to a sudden stop. Oh, back to it! And the fleeing man was yanked from the saddle and landed heavily on the ground. Is Silver easy? Hey, what's the idea? Oh, who'd like you shooting at it? Never mind the questions. Get it up. You're covered. Look, mister, I don't know what your game is, but you signed your death warrant by interfering with us. Maybe. Put your hand behind your back. I'm tying you up. Quickly, the masked man tied the outlaw's hands, then putting him back on his horse. He headed back to where he had left Toto, taking the captured man with him. A few minutes later, they stopped beside Toto and the other outlaw, whom the Indian had already tied securely and put on his horse. Oh, Silver, oh, easy. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Take these men to the sheriff and Newton, Toto. I'll pick up the trail, the one who got away. Uh, I'll meet you on the edge of town later. Ah, uh, me get the sheriff pronto. 
Let me go now. Get him up, Scout. Get up there, fella. Get up. As Tonto left, leading the other two horses, the Lone Ranger watched a moment, then turning... All right, boy. He headed back up the slope to pick up the trail of the outlaw who had managed to get away. Come Tonto took the two outlaws to the sheriff's office and related what had happened. But why should a masked hombre stop a holdup? What are you doing riding with him? If we outlaws, me not bring other outlaw to jail. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense, but... Uh, maybe you hear a lone ranger. The lone ranger? Uh. Sure. Say, say, is that who your friend is? Uh. Then you're Tonto. Uh. Padre at mission asked us come to Newton. I was the one who asked him to send you. Padre say they're troubled near Newton. Him not say more. Outlaws are raising hog around this territory. Whoever is leading them is mighty smart. A few days ago, for instance, three gunmen held up the bank at one end of town, and at the same time, three more robbed the express office at the other end. Oh. And we caught one of the gang once before. He held off telling anything for hours. Then when he did tell where the hideout was, the gang had moved when we got there. Me go now. Meet Lone Ranger. We come back later. Adios. So long, Tonto. I'll be waiting to talk to that masked hombre. I can use all the help he can give me to round up this gang. Tonto left the sheriff's office and went to the edge of town to wait for the Lone Ranger. Before long, the masked man rode into the grove where his Indian friend waited. <laughs> Loose trail, Kimasabi? Yes. He covered his trail like an Indian, Toto. He entered a shallow stream that flows toward town and runs along behind the buildings. So many townspeople use that stream to water their horses, it's almost impossible to see where tracks come out of it. Uh, me see stream. It run right behind sheriff's office. You turn the two prisoners over to the sheriff? Ah. Briefly, Toto told the Lone Ranger about his talk with the sheriff and the information he had received concerning the elusive gang of gun slicks. The Lone Ranger listened attentively, then remarked, The sun is setting, Tonto. As soon as it's dark, we'll go to see the sheriff at his home. I want to get all the details, and also find out what, if anything, he's learned from the two men we captured. <laughs> After darkness fell, the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode to the sheriff's house near the edge of town. Leaving their horses in the shadows, they approached the front door. Well, Tonto and the masked man, come in. Good evening, Sheriff. Did you learn anything from the two prisoners when you questioned them? Not a thing. Uh, sit down and be comfortable. Thanks. <laughs> I left the deputy in charge of my office, and I sent my cook, Apache Liz, over with their supper. Maybe a good meal will loosen their tongues. I noticed the member of the gang we caught before talked after eating Apache Liz cooking. Uh, the outlaw at trail came back to town. I lost the trail where he left the stream behind the buildings. Yeah, we've had that same trouble by Jiminy. The bank of that stream is so covered with tracks you can't tell which are the ones you were trailing. <laughs> I reckon Apache Liz just came in the back door. It's best right now that we not be seen. We'll see you soon again, Sheriff. Uh -huh. All right, let's go, Tonto. We'll stop under the open window a moment, Tonto. I want to get a look at that Indian woman. Ah. Look. And go in to speak to Sheriff. The Lone Ranger and Tonto looked through the window. Did they like the supper you took them, Apache Liz? Uh, they not leave any food on plates. Deputy say you come to jail. Men ready to talk now. Right, Thunder. You must put a spell on them with that good food of yours. Oh. I'll get right over there before they change their minds. Let's get back in the shadows until the Sheriff leaves. Come on. Uh -huh. Later, we'll talk to him again and find out what the men told him. The masked man and Indian stood in the shadows until they heard the sheriff leave. Get in there. Get along. Get in there. 
Then, as the two men were about to go to the grove where they'd left Silver and Scout, the back door slammed. Someone used back door. Let's go to the corner of the house. Now. As they reached the corner of the house, they saw Apache Liz striding away behind the buildings in the moonlight. We'll come back for the horses, Tonto. Right now, I want to know where that Indian woman is going. Come on. Uh -huh. The Lone Ranger and Tonto followed the Indian squaw through the shadows. They saw her approach one of several horses ground hitched near the edge of a group of trees behind the local hotel. She's putting something into one of the saddlebags, Tonto. Oh. It looked like a piece of paper. You see something white in her hand. Get back. She's coming this way. Going back to the sheriff's house. Oh. The masked man and Indian waited until Apache Liz passed by their hiding place. Then they moved forward cautiously toward the horse she had approached. You think her have something to do with gang? I don't know. The strange of prisoners are willing to talk after she visits them. Isn't that right? Well, this is the horse. Uh, it's saddlebag on this side. I'll see what it was she put in there. Reach both of you. I got you covered. Uh, better reach, Toto. Uh, now turn around slow. No tricks. Very well. Yeah, good thing I was standing in the shadows near the back of the hotel when I saw you coming along. That's my horse you're fooling around. I see. I've seen you two before. I'm glad to run into you again. You sort of like to interfere, don't you? You must be the gun slick who got away after you tried to hold up the stage today. Maybe, but you'll not get away, mister. At a moment when the man momentarily had his eyes on Toto... The Lone Ranger suddenly went into action. This will do it. He kicked high, and the toe of his boot caught the man's gun arm, sending the gun flying from him. Then a shot rang out behind the Lone Ranger and Tonto. Tonto, you're hit. The Lone Ranger dropped down beside his Indian friend, then turned and fired as a figure leaped behind the building. We'll continue our Lone Ranger adventure in just a moment. Cowboy Tom is a boy of six. He knows all kinds of cowboy tricks. He can rope a steer because he knows he's got go power from Cheerios. Yes, he's got go power. There he goes. He's feeling his Cheerios. 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 You bet, Cheerios, the oat cereal that needs no cooking. Every delicious spoonful of Cheerios and milk is real muscle-building food. Each spoonful contains vitamins, minerals, and proteins your body needs. Yes, the good things in a Cheerios breakfast do good things for your body. Help you have healthy nerves, good red blood, strong bones, and muscles. And besides giving you go power, Cheerios is downright wonderful tasting. That toasted oat flavor is really something. And when you add milk and your favorite fruit, say some sliced bananas, you're in for a delicious breakfast treat. Get the whole family off to a good start every morning with Cheerios. Then you'll hear people say... He's feeling his Cheerios. <laughs> to continue. During the moment that the Lone Ranger's attention was given to the new attacker, Fred the other gunman leaped on his horse and headed back through the trees toward the shallow stream. Toto, Toto, are you all right? Uh, me all right. Bullet just grazed side head. Feller, get away with horse and note. Let him go. I have an idea that the one who shot from the corner of the building is more important. Uh, who you think shoot from there? I caught a glimpse of a figure, Toto. I think it was Apache Liz. What? I also think I grazed her with a bullet. People come from around front. Them here shooting. We'll head through the shadows for the back door of the sheriff's office. Come on. Ah. A few minutes later, the two men were in the sheriff's office. Briefly, the Lone Ranger explained what had taken place. Apache Liz has been with me about six months. But it's hard to believe... We'll have to get direct proof, of course... Did the uh, two men talk? Yep. Told me it's where their hideout is, too. Oh, just where is it? Well, they told me it was in a shack in Drury Canyon. 
Said if we go there at dawn, we'll catch the whole gang together. How far is Drury Canyon from here? About an hour's ride. I see. Does Apache Liz always know when you're trailing those gun slicks? Sure. Of course she would. And I have an idea where those gunmen meet. A place that would be safer than any other. Huh? And then, then you don't think they'd have a hideout in Dreary Canyon like the prisoners said? No. I suggest you tell the Indian woman you're going out there with a posse. Leave about an hour before dawn. Have your deputy and the posse form at your house. But if you think it's useless to... How do I meet you and the others on the edge of town? Then I think I'll be able to lead you to the real meeting place, Sheriff. I think we'll capture the gang and their clever leader. Later, the sheriff returned to his house and found Apache Liz sitting up waiting for him as usual. Well, Apache Liz, I found out where those gun slicks have their hideout. Yes, sir, that food of yours sure loosened those prisoners' tongues. Uh, that good. You go catch them outlaws now, maybe, eh? Yep. Yeah, I got a posse that'll be ready to ride an hour before dawn. Good night, sheriff. <laughs> Early that morning, after the sheriff and posse rode from the house, Apache Liz had several visitors who cautiously entered the back door. She carefully drew the shades in the kitchen, then sat at the head of the long kitchen table and looked over the five gunmen. Now, this is the first meeting we've had since we robbed the express office in the bank. You still got the cash hidden here in the basement? It's not in the basement, no. Me bring it up. We divide it. Yeah, but we this good. In here in the closet. Oh, fine. Go get it out. Huh? Here, bags of cash, gold. Huh? We soon be plenty rich. Gosh, all this time a sheriff's been walking around right over all that loot yeah. and didn't know it. <laughs> yeah, well, Apache Liz has him fooled plenty. But you may not be able to fool that masked man an inch long. They're always snooping around. Uh, now... We open bags, divide loot. That's it. After meeting the sheriff and the posse on the edge of town, the Lone Ranger and Tonto were introduced as friends. Then the sheriff asked, Now, mister, where is it you're going to take us? So we'll be able to capture that gang. Back to your house, Sheriff. Huh? Yeah, well, back to my house? Oh. Hey, maybe he thinks you're the leader of those gun slicks, <laughs> Sheriff. This sounds like a joke to well, me. Sure. Sheriff, I told you my suspicions about Apache Liz. Yes, but I, I think put... she's mixed up in this. And if they meet at your place when you go away with a posse to hunt them... Oh, my golly, it's possible at that. Well, we'll find out. I suggest we leave our horses and go back on foot. That makes sense. Ah. All right, mister. We'll do it that way. Do you think we'd better just burst in? If the men are there with her, we know they're all gunmen. And she, too, is a good shot. What do you suggest? Have a couple of men at the windows. Then some go in the front way and others in the back way. I'd say the gang will be in the kitchen. Yeah. People are used to seeing the lamp lit in all hours in my kitchen. Well, we're ready to go when you are, Sheriff. All right, let's get going. Right. Dismount, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Yeah. In the sheriff's kitchen, Apache Liz was carefully portioning out the cash and gold as the men watched. There is plenty for each one. Hey, but you have twice as much as we have, Apache Liz. Me, leader. Me make them plans. Me save you from mask men. You no complain. Well, put away the gun, Apache Liz. No use us having a fallen out. Hey, none of you will get any of that loot. Reach. Hey, the sheriff, let him have it. Hold it. Oh, I'm hit. That last man. Drop that gun. Oh! He put this. Let's fight our way out of here, men. For a few minutes, as guns blazed in the close quarters, wounds were inflicted on both sides. 
But those still able to make a stand came together with fists flying. For a short time, pandemonium reigned in the small kitchen. This will hold you. The gunmen soon were subdued and stood dejected within a circle of angry men. By thunder, the masked man sure was right. Apache Liz turned out to be in with him as leader. And all the time she's been right in this house. Yeah. And we caught him red-handed with the loot from the robberies. Funny, though, these hombres who are so tough and all would take orders from an Apache yeah, squad. Oh, just a minute. I suspected something when Todd and I followed your cook from the house a while ago. What's that? I noticed the cook suddenly straighten up and change from a short, shuffling walk to a long stride. Then the way he leaped back after shooting at us from the corner of the building. He? Do you mean Apache Liz? I mean Apache Lazaro. What? A Mexican bandit who took refuge with the Apaches a year ago. Holy mackerel. You mean she... I mean your cook isn't a squaw at all, but a tough, clever man. You'll find an Apache arrow tattooed on his left forearm. I saw it a moment ago. Come here, you. No, no, no. By thunder, you're right. He is Apache Lazaro. I had a handbill on him. You are stupid, my friend. You were easy to fool. But a squaw named Apache Liz did work for the Indian agent who raised her some years ago. I checked. Of course. That is where I got my idea. But she is back on the reservation with her people. Well, you don't no, think we take orders from a squad, do you? Apache Lazaro and these men deserve all that the law gives them. Sure. And he'll go in on the charge of attempted murder, for one thing, mister. That bandage on his wrist must be where he got grazed by a bullet when he fired at you and Tonto. Uh, the masked man bring bad luck to Apache Liz. <laughs> Him and the Indian friend, bad medicine. Tonto and I will return to the mission and tell the Padre the outcome of our trip here, Sheriff. You sure did plenty. Thanks for everything. We're glad we could help. Well, mister, law's got to be upheld if we want to see the West grow and prosper. Take him to jail, boy. Right. Adios. Right. We'll be down this way again sometime. Come Let's on, go, Sato. Right. Hey, Sheriff. You said that masked hombre's a friend. But who is he? He's a friend, all right. A friend to everybody who tries to do the right thing. Yes, sir. He's one American who's determined that the country will be mighty proud of the West someday. He's the Lone Ranger. Copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated is produced by Trendle Campbell Muir Incorporated.